Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's Bitcoin TA because we have a big update on the Bitcoin price right now. So we can start here in the one hour time frame. As you can see Bitcoin currently is breaking out from this big falling wedge that we had here. And currently it also looks like that we are building up support here. So we have some bullish and some very bearish signs. So that's why I told you guys also yesterday that this is going to be very hard to trade because we have some sell signals, but we are breaking out from a very bullish pattern. So yesterday I told you that here up in the resistance area, we had a sell signal and most likely it is good to go short. Currently the trade is not playing out. As you can see, I'm also on the water currently. But don't panic, I'm expecting here, of course, a continuation of this breakout, even up to $12,000, that is possible. But since we are trading now on the weekend, and as you know, weekend action very often is not very relevant. So what we have to do right now is just to wait till next week, because I think on Monday we're going to have the clear sign where we are heading to. Because I think in the next month, so in September, we're going to trade sub 11k or above 12k. So I don't think that we will stay in this region here for a very long time. So most likely we're going to have a decision here to take next week where we're going to trade next. So is it above 12K or below 11K? So towards our CME gap at $9,600 to the 10K support or above 12K to potentially also go up and retest 12,700 and maybe even go higher. So both scenarios are very likely and it's up to you, of course, how you want to trade it. But in any way you're trading, make always sure to lock in profits, especially if you're trading with leverage, always use stop losses or don't be too greedy, just take some profits out. So if you trade like this, you should be always doing fine. So currently I'm keeping up my short because I still see some bearish signs and I'm expecting latest on Monday the price to retrace back towards this 11,300 to 11,400 and then see if we're able to push through here towards 12K or if we're getting rejected here and we just saw a fake out during the weekend, a possible continuation here to the downside towards our bearish targets of around 10,500 to 9,600 dollar. So here in the one hour, currently we are trading on the bullish side in the RSI. So we had a breakout to the upside from this falling wedge. I don't call it a real breakout. I just think we are trading sideways here and we are getting out of this bullish pattern here. So a real breakout to me would mean that we will see a big green candle and also a lot of volume kicking in here. So far we didn't see anything like that also because it's weekend of course and that's why be very careful when you trade on the weekend or when you have a trade open like me during a weekend because then volatility can be quite huge and it can be very risky for your trade especially if you go high leverage. That's why usually I never trade on weekends, but because yesterday I entered the short, right now I'm keeping up my trade during the weekend and see the next week how the trade is gonna be. So here, also in the one hour, you can see that my indicator is again getting in very exhausting area here, up in overbought conditions. So also here I'm expecting a possible sell signal again. But as I told you on the weekend, you never can trust really the indicators. On the weekend, it's really just play time. And if you're getting in profits during the weekend, then maybe consider to take profits or use a stop loss because usually we see always then a reversal. So we can see potentially today a big pump and then a big dump tomorrow or on Monday. And the same thing also if we dump right now, we can see a back retracement here latest on Monday when the CMEs are starting again because the CME is closed at $11,600 on Friday. So most likely we're gonna retrace back to those levels latest on Monday, wherever we're going during the weekend. So the good thing here currently is that we're seeing this 20 moving average as a support here in the one hour. Currently we are also fighting with the 200 moving average. I think if we are able to build up a support above the 200 moving average, it is very likely that we are heading towards our 12K target, which would be the next potential resistance above of us. 
and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that currently here we are overshooting it to the upside and the retracement back to the moving averages here between 11,520 to 11,500 is very likely and there we should expect another bounce to the upside. The problem here is only that the MACD is looking toppy here. We could have here a bearish cross and then the momentum would be again shifted to the downside. Stochastic also had already a bearish cross so here it looks like that we could potentially also come back down towards the bottom of around 11,460 and before we switch over into the four hour let's have a look on the DXY because here currently we're not trading the market will open up again on a Monday and here currently we were in very oversold condition so here I was expecting a bounce that didn't come yesterday so maybe we will see that on Monday as soon as the market is gonna start again and if we go back into the Bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame, here you can see that we had a buy signal down here and currently also we are getting a bit exhausted here but we are still far away from being over bought and if we have a look also on the DXY here you can see the opposite here we are getting very oversold so here I'm still expecting a possible buy signal so at least a possible bounce to the upside to retest maybe one of these moving averages up here and that would mean that Bitcoin most likely could see a potential drop that's why also I went short so let's see if this is gonna play out next week or not. I thought that most likely we're gonna see this leg down on Friday or today but it looks like that we have to wait at least till Monday if we're gonna have such a drop or not. And here in the 4 hour you can see that currently we are trading above the 20 moving average which is a very bullish sign so that $11,480 level is currently support. So as long as we are trading above the 20 moving average in the 4 hour we are good to go to the upside. Also RSI managed to come back above the 50 level, very bullish. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour you can see that currently we topped out at the top here and the retracement back down to the two moving averages here so between 11,500 and 11,430 is very likely to come. So also here we are still bullish, we are trading on the top area of the Bollinger Band but also here a possible correction to the downside maybe even down to the bottom at 11,250 is likely and especially on the weekends very often we see big moves like that that in then immediately comes back to where we close the CMEs on Friday. We have also the stochastic quite overbought here. MACD is still shifted to the upside so the 4 hour is still looking very bullish even though there is still a chance that we could correct down even down to $11,400. And if we switch over now into the daily time frame, here you can see that yesterday we closed right at the 20 daily moving average. So far we don't have a close above. Right now we are still trading right at this moving average. So in my opinion it's still not clear if we are now breaking here the 20 daily moving average and starting to trade above and having this moving average as a support or not. If we are getting rejected again, so if we are not able to close daily candles above and also create a support above the 20 daily moving average, I think it is very likely that we're gonna see continuation to the downside. Also the RSI is right at the 50 level. My indicator is quite flat here, so we are in a critical point. But if we are able to build up support above 11,540, then we should be good to go to retest 12K and potentially even go higher to retest here this 12,750 resistance. So it is very likely that we could see this bullish move to the upside if we are able to build up here support. But as I told you, we are in a very critical point and this is going to be very hard to trade. But if you think that we will see this 12k and $12,700 retest coming up pretty soon, then of course this is the perfect opportunity to start to scale in long positions. Because even if we would drop down towards $10,500, you can manage to keep up alive your trade. And once we're gonna bounce somewhere at around $10,500, maybe even down to $9,600, you can scale in your longs. And then latest there where we're gonna bottom and we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside you will be in profits so if you're not sure if you should go long or short right now then maybe start to think about to open up long positions maybe with small leverage or small amounts so that you can handle even if we see our most bearish scenario down to nine thousand six hundred dollar 
So we can also have a look now into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here currently we're still trading on the bearish side so the daily is not looking too bullish currently but if we are able to close above 11,540 and retest here the midline at $11,700 I think there we could see a possible push through towards this $12,100 top here in the Bollinger Band. But if we're getting stuck and rejected here at $11,700, then expect here a possible bigger correction down towards $11,200, potentially even lower because we still have the MACD shifted to the downside stochastic is still oversold of course here we should expect a bounce to the upside and I think this is what we are seeing currently the problem is that we still didn't manage here to break above 11,540 and also close above this moving average in the Bollinger Band so keep a very close eye here in the daily time frame the Bollinger Band is telling that we're still trading on the bearish side even though there are chances that we could break through important resistances here and start again a retest here towards $12,000. And once we're gonna break this $11,700, I think this will be a very fast move towards 12K. And uh, now let's have a look also into the weekly time frame because currently the weekly is still bearish even though I was expecting to go lower this week but so far the price is holding quite strong here in this $11,500 level. The problem is here still that we are looking quite toppy, the RSI is also in over bought condition and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here you can see that a correction down to the two moving averages is very likely since we were trading here at the top of the Bollinger Band for so long but so far we didn't see this retest of these two moving averages so I'm still expecting the correction down here between $10,500 to $9,600 we have stochastic shifted to the downside only the MACD is still bullish so only here the MACD is saving the weekly time frame otherwise here I would say that the correction down to the two moving averages is very likely but we still could see some bounces here towards the top of the Bollinger Band which is currently at $12,200 so watch out for these levels in case that you are in a trade so you see that we have a couple of bearish but also bullish signs so whatever trade you're gonna take right now make sure that you can manage to not get liquidated and always use stop losses once you are in profits because right now you see that volatility is coming back and it doesn't matter if you're short or you're long when volatility is coming back it is very easy to get liquidated or to lose profits that you didn't realize so make always sure to take out some profits on the way up or on the way down use all the stop losses don't be too greedy and you should be doing fine and of course i will always update you as soon as i get some buy or sell signals here on youtube or on discord so make sure also to subscribe to our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and if you also want to trade with leverage bitcoin and other cryptos you find all the links to those exchanges that i recommend you down below here in the video description and with my links you can get up to 538 dollars in bonus if you use the links down below here so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content please moon up the like subscribe to the channel here and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>